welcome back so um, now we're going to create some environment water and make it a team death match I just spoke to a friend over Skype I wanted him to join me in Delta Force let's see if it if he joins uh, we're going to see something very interesting okay so let's start so first thing we need to do is create make this uh, team deathmatch let's go to the general information check the team deathmatch hit ok <clears throat> ok now it's a team deathmatch map so we don't need to remove these because these markers are for the deathmatch we are going to leave these as these are ignore that you can actually change the rotation of these markers this line actually indicates at what what will be the direction of the player when he borns so every player is going to look uh, um, to this direction when he borns you can change the direction by rotating it okay all right so just change the direction if you want to change and this player is actually going to get a painful bullet as he burns so I want him to look right straight to the next player as he burns up okay so uh, we, this is now a deathmatch team deathmatch and we are going to create two different teams here so let's start by I want the blue team here I want the red team here so let's uh, go to the insert mood click here in the markers we need to go straight down somewhere here alright and here we have two things team blue start marker and team red start marker I want to put the team blue start markers here's the first marker here's the second marker here's the third fourth fifth okay one more thing uh, whenever you you uh, put a marker here it just looks at the same place oops we zoomed out okay he looks at the same direction we can change this behavior of the insert let's go to the insert mode again click here I want to put team blue start marker check the random facing button here okay and then hit ok now when we create every time they are going to change their you know direction all right this was a team blue and here we want to place the red team all right so uh, let's just click here and select the red team marker and just place as many markers as you want all right so now we have a blue team and red team markers this is now also a team death match and also a death match okay and now we need to change the environment we saw the environment that was very you know um, clear sky and shiny weather uh, sunny environment we, uh, I, I want to change that so let's go to the general information again here and in general information we are um, going to change the environment file here and I want to change this to maybe um, night 3 alright and check that box uh, night vision goggles available all right start with NVG turned on it depends if you turn that on it's gonna the player is going to start the game with the night vision turned on he can turn off that if he wants but that depends on you how you want it to be all right I'm sorry for the background voices and uh, anyways the next thing here the water let's add some water in it check the water button and I'm going to for now hit uh, put the value just maybe um, 10 just to show you what happens and I'm sure nothing's gonna happen let's go to the F game and Delta Force and Mission Cat hit save need to export that export by revision Mission Cat BMS save that yes and let's check that out now just go to the Delta Force again go to multiplayer go to host and here's our mission start hosting we're hosting the game over the network any player in the network may join the game if he wants okay now look at the weather wow I like this wow. 
good. Well, I want you to find the water. We gave it a value of 10, but there is nothing. I can't see the water anywhere. Anyway, you can run out if you want. But if you go outside the map, you're not going to come back again until you die. If you want to die, just hit F on your keyboard, drop the grenade here, and just lay <laughs> over it. Um, major ended it all. Alright, so let's go back. Hit exit. Okay, and here, let's come back. Okay, no, uh, we cannot see the water in the map. I want to put the matter water. Let's go to the calculator for a moment. Okay. We gave it the value of 10. So if we divide, sorry, multiply 10 by 0.5. 5. Okay, but we could not see the water there. So let's give it the value maybe 50 into 0.5 25 okay it's gonna work let's give it 50 hit enter to see if it's working or not zoom out a little bit click on C and we still do not have any water in the scene it's still lower let's go to the click on this button 3d wireframe okay now we're watching the map from the from the right side or maybe left I don't know all right but there's no water in the map so let's go to the general information we need to increase the value don't worry it's gonna work somewhere let's put 80 and there's a lot of water boys oh my god you can keep this water if you want but you're always going to just <laughs> keep on swimming in the map so let's just uh, leave this as it is. I'm going to save the map. And I'm going to export this map. Yes, and let's check this now. We're going to have a lot of water. Um, okay, I, go, I just got a message. It's qualified tutor required. If anybody of you is interested, you can contact this person. He needs a tutor. Anyway, so let's get back to our deathmatch. Go to the mission cards and start hosting again. So, we are underwater already. Let's get out. So, uh, there was a lot of value. There's a lot of water. We, You can keep that amount of water if you want but it's too much okay so 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 let's get back you can play around with the with the figures of water you can change the value whatever you want let's put something like uh, maybe um, 65 okay now uh, the blue area, the blue points or the blue segments here are showing the water. You should increase the value a little bit. Uh, maybe 70. Okay, it increased a little bit. Let's put something like 75. Wow. Okay, wh 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 wherever you want to place that. I mean, it's okay. So just uh, save that. We're going to save that again. Hit yes and export the mission to binary okay so let's go back to the delta force I forgot to change the type so this time we're not going to go to the deathmatch we can join as a deathmatch this 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 map but we are now going to see if it is under the team deathmatch because we changed it it is it should be also available under the team deathmatch so let's go and here's it let's join that you can change your team type if you know that from here so I always like to go in blue I'm a good guy so let's go to the team deathmatch and get the mission cards and start hosting okay so here we are we have some water, we can stand somewhere where we want. Uh, 
um, then we are stuck here because we cannot climb on the things and we are totally <laughs> stuck. Well, you can play around with these things. Alright, so this is a team that match and you can see blue team and red team and that's it. Hit N for night vision goals. Let's quit this now and go back to our map editor. Okay, now I'm going to in decrease the value from 75 to maybe 65. Okay, that's fine. We're going to save that and uh, yes, and export the mission to in cats and yes. Okay, so let's zoom in now. Okay, here we are. Let's go to the wireframe uh, mode. Okay, now here. Uh, Mm, 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 mm. What next can we do? We can add fog in it. Let's go to the general information. Let's add fog. How much fog you want to add? We uh, want to add maybe 20 meters. <coughs> Sorry. So we want to add 20 meters of fog. 20 meters from this is the sight distance actually. 20 meters. You can see 20 meters. From the location you are and then you will not be able to see anything beyond that it will be difficult okay so we, we're also going to change the change the maybe environment type down to all right so hit okay and save a map export okay so let's go back to the delta force and check that out Multiplayer, host, multiplayer, team deathmatch, and uh, start hosting again. Oh, yeah, now we have got some fog here. That looks good, <coughs> but we cannot see much further. I told you, you will not be able to see beyond 20 meters. I like this, you know. I like that a lot. Okay, so uh, let's go back and and see what we can do next. Let's remove a wall. We want to remove this wall. Let's remove this wall. Let's remove uh, maybe this wall. Okay. We just remove two walls. And um, um, let's insert a building here. Go to the building. Uh, sorry. Let's right click and select the insert move button. Click wherever you want to create the building and select the type of the object you want to make. Building. And select any building you want. Um, we may want to put something like uh, like 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 uh, I think I'm wasting the time so let's just try anything let's try this okay we have this building here let's rotate that okay let's copy this and paste this here let's rotate that again I'm rotating because I know uh, it is facing the wrong side so I just changed the face of the building so let's save that again and let's export that okay that this was uh, this information was actually enough for you to make your own map it's not so difficult and uh, uh, now we can talk about the other things like uh, how what if we want to make a tunnel in the map tunnels are a little bit complicated not actually complicated but you just need to know how to properly place the tunnels here is a building that we placed in the in the map and there has to be the other which is here Okay, this is good. 
No, you guys can play around. So uh, let's close this and I'm sorry if I'm hurting your ears okay uh, I just want to I was just trying to you know refresh myself so um, what if we want to draw a road here if you want to make a road I'm not going to go in a whole lot of detail but I'm going to tell you how you can make a road you can play around this not too much to learn in this so it's quite simple you just have to know actually how to place the road so let's start uh, inserting the road this is the tile uh, type which we selected when we were working here uh, in general information this is the mission tiles you can change the tiles anytime you want Alright, so you now tiles are changed. You can still change these tiles a lot again and again till you're satisfied. You no, know, see that? So let's just make something. I'm going to select this tile and I'm gonna start making a road. Alright, so um, let's rotate that. Oops, we are disconnected from the network. Okay, we're connected now. Um, let's rotate that. 90 degrees. Oops, not 90 actually. I think 30. That works. Okay, and anyway, let's move that here. Uh, maybe somewhere here. Let's copy this and paste this. Wait a minute. Uh, we need to zoom out a little bit. Mm. Here, oops, not here. Actually, let's move this here. Copy. Let's copy this. Both of these. Copy and paste somewhere here. Okay, uh, this is, uh, I think, enough. Once you export the map, you're actually not going to see the road in the map. Not unless you do something which is very important to see the roads etc in the map so let's move the map road somewhere close to the to the player point so we can see as soon as we start the game let's save the game and export the game it's just because I'm going to show you that you are actually not going to see the road you just saved. Um, just relax. I'm, I'm moving a little bit slow just to give you better information about the editor. So uh, there is no road here, neither on the other side. There can't be any road anywhere. We're not going to see that. It's just because we have to do something else to enable the game to show the roads or the other maps like that. So to do to to see these roads in the game, you have to do something else, and that is click on the save button here. And here you want to save the map let's I forgot the name so I'm just going to give it name or something what was that I don't know um, that was something like uh, cats let's just save that with the cats we can change the name from the directory later on I'm just going to save this and uh, I'm going to the directory and my maps no it's here okay this is it this is uh, this is the cats dot TIL file. This is actually the file we, uh, which can actually enable this game to show the maps of the roads. So, uh, what was the name of our map? We need to see that. Mm, that was mission underscore cat. That was cancel. 
I need to copy that. Let's just copy the mission cat. Go back. Let's cut this file, the cats dot tile which we saved from here. All right. So cut that and paste this in the directory here. Okay, and here these are three files of the game. Uh, I think auto is turned on. Group by. Okay, leave that. We just need to change the name. We need to do give it name mission underscore cat dot tile. Okay, this is the mission binary file of the mission we just created. This is the mission file and this is the tile file which is going to enable the game to show us our road maps. So uh, let's get back to the game and see if it works. Multiplayer host game and let's go to the mission cats and start hosting. And uh, I'm sure we are going to see our road somewhere. Um, let's go to this direction first. Nothing. Let's go to the other direction. And here we go. This is our road, if you can see that. Okay. This is it. It's quite simple. Okay, and uh, that was uh, about how to create the make the road in Delta Force. And uh, the next thing we there are so many things yet like waypoints and uh, inserting loop for vehicles, etc., etc. Um, and yes, I'm feeling sleepy. Here under general, we created two types of maps. Death match and team death match. We need to create King of the Hill and Team King of the Hill. If you create Team King of the Hill or King of the Hill, you don't need to define the player markers again because we have already defined those markers for Team Death Match and also for the Death Match. So if you start making the King of the Hill, it's actually kind of Death Match. So you're not going to define the Death uh, markers again. So if you're making the team king of the hill, you're still not going to define the markers again for the players because uh, for the team we have uh, already drawn markers here for the red and blue team. So um, to see what happens, uh, let's see how to make the king of the hill. So let's start making king of the hill. So King of the Hill means uh, a player just goes in a circle and he has to stay in the circle and survive uh, until the timer uh, declares he is the winner. So I'm going to draw, go to the, I'm going to go to the insert mood and uh, draw the marker. I want the first marker to be here. So let's go to the markers and here you want to create a code center. Uh, we got a call. Okay, and you can create this here. Hello. Yeah, we do it. Uh, so how game is? Are you? Ah, I am. I am multiplayer. Are you? I am. 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 I Eight minute. I'm going to save the map and uh, my friend is joining me in the game and friends we are going to check this map real time so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I w I'm going into the blue team I'm joining the blue team I want to change my loadout and I'm gonna tell him in Urdu language just to change the Change the player type you want so the player change the player type vector face. Okay, so I want you to join the game because uh, I just have hosted the game. Come in the game. I want you to be there. Okay. Okay, so major game, major game. Okay. okay, I am in the game and I'm gonna hide somewhere here. Okay, and we know Venom is joining the game and he is gonna come somewhere here can you see that yeah 
ले लिया भाई धोखा नहीं करना धोखा नहीं करना ये ये अभी आ, मैं ट्यूटोरियल बना रहा था तो आप आ गए हैं तो मैं क्या चलो हाँ गेम बनाने का तो आप आ गए हैं तो आप किधर भाग गए हैं जनाब मैं बस आपके पास ही हूँ बड़ा हैवी मैप लगा दिया तूने तो यार ये गन कैसे चेंज करूँ मैं ये हो सकती है कहीं से भी जनाब किधर है Uh, due to a lot of fog, we are unable to see each other, and I can see he is shooting. Go change the map. Okay, so we're going to change the map now. All right, so let's get back to our editor. We had a lot of fog there, and um, we just created a cold center here. Um, so here you can change the value of cold center. So you, so you just need to put the value uh, to enable these things just to join. We're going to change the SF cooperative map, Kedia. जरा मर्जी खेला यार डेल्टा फोर्स गनर मैं आते वो चूज किता करेक्टर टाइप ठीक है कंप्यूटर दिनाल खेलना हाँ खेलना दो में कट्टे करने कंप्यूटर दिनाल चलो ठीक है चलो ठीक है ठीक है ओके चलो मैं होस्ट करना मैं तुझे ज्वाइन करो सेल करवाओ ओके एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्टॉप द वीडियो हियर आई एम गोइ so if you want to see that I'm going to continue the tutorial right after the game so I'm just going to stop the game for now and I'll be recording the gameplay thank you for watching Kick.